Absolute nightmare. I've just told Rachel I'm out on the golf course with Mini Driver and she didn't sound happy at all. Hi, I'm Paul and this is The Golf Show. Hey everyone, I'm Paul Hemlin. Welcome to The Golf Show. On the show this week, I'm going to test the club that everybody is talking about right now. It's the new Mini Driver from TaylorMade. Okay, this is a titanium carbon and steel head, 307cc, so much smaller than a 460 driver, but quite a bit bigger than a 3 metal. These come in left and right hands, you've got a choice of a regular or a stiff shaft. The shaft length is 43 and a half inches, so about two inches shorter than a driver. So I'm going to have a quick chat about it now, do a product review, and then I'm going to take it out on the course. Taylor may say this is low spin, high launch, so that's perfect off the tee. I want to compare this to my driver. I'm hitting the driver really well at the moment, so really interested to see how that goes. But also I want to see what this is like off the deck. It's 11 and a half degrees. I'm not one of those people that would play a driver off the deck. So 20 years ago, at the start of the Metalwood revolution that changed our game and brought so much distance into the game, TaylorMade brought out their revolutionary 300 driver. It was one of the best, most popular drivers they've ever made. So this is a nod to that. Obviously when Metalwoods first came out, the drivers were really only about as big as a as a modern fairway wood is today. So you've got this coming in to help people who maybe struggle off the tee with accuracy, maybe they don't like the long shafts, maybe they need a bit more distance going into greens. This has got twist face technology, so just like the other tailor-made drivers on the range, and the adjustable hosel where you can change the loft by plus or minus two degrees. In the last 20 years, materials that are used in clubs have changed so much. This isn't just steel, it's got carbon and titanium. So for that, with the adjustable hosel, the better shafts, this isn't cheap, it's £349. Now there's a lot of drivers on the market that are that kind of money. So for £349, you're getting all that technology. You also get a boxing glove style head cover from TaylorMade. It is very well made, um, but it's a fabric style rather than the sort of leather synthetic that we're more used to seeing. I think it looks a bit dated and a bit cheap. Maybe this is something similar to what they did with the 320 years ago. Not a huge fan of that, but it is very well made. I mean, from that angle, that looks like a modern tailor-made driver. Obviously, you've got the twist face in there. I'm not so sure I like this colour face. This takes me back to golf clubs 20 years ago. 11 and a half degrees, you also do it in 13 and a half degrees. Right-handed, left-handed, you've got a choice of two shafts, regular or stiff. This is the stiff. I'm going to take this out onto the course now. I'm going to try it off the tee. I'm going to compare it against my driver, which I'm hitting pretty well for me at the moment. And then I'm going to try it off the deck. £350 is a really interesting price point. PXG have just dropped their price on the Gen 4 Woods. And for £399, you can get the Sim 2 driver, the Sim Max driver, or the Ping G425. So £350, this is no gimmick. If you're going to get one of these, it's going to need to stay in the bag for a while at that kind of money. Have a long, hard think about whether one of these might help you or not. One other reason why you might want to consider one of these mini drivers is there's a lot of people at the moment experimenting with longer driver shafts, maybe 46, 47 inches. If you can gain one of those and you can get a bit of a gap in your bag between your driver and your fairway metal. So you might need something like one of these bad boys just to get the fairway you know, comparable and keeping up with the driver so you're not getting a massive gap at the top end of the bag. It'll be interesting to see what this is like off the fairway. I've got this set at 11 and a half degrees and it is quite a big head. That just could just be a little bit formidable to look at at the dress. My fairway is 15 degrees, so we'll test those out. What I'm going to do today as well, I'm going to test them out on the Garmin G80 that I reviewed in a previous episode. Hope you enjoyed that. Here's the link to it. If you haven't seen that one, that's a nice piece of kit. I'm going to look at the club head speeds and the distance we're getting on these in terms of carry and on roll. £349, it is not cheap. So you've got to think really hard if you want one of these. Do you want it as a driver? Do you want it as a, a muscled up fairway? Or do you want it as both? Because it's going to be interesting to see how this works out. Okay, that's more than enough from me. Let's get out on the course and hit some balls. Okay, so I'm on the beautiful sixth hole at Fulford Golf Club. It's 10 past six in the morning. I've not had any breakfast yet. We're going to have a few swings with my driver try and get an average and I'm going to hit the mini driver off the tee then we're going to walk down the fairway and try and hit some long shots onto the green okay let's do this I've got the Garmin G80 here as well to help give me some distances 
Tricky hole the sixth, your tee is just offset a bit to the right. The bunk you can see on the left is 260. Oh, I couldn't have hit any better than that. Fairway with the first day, that's gone 261. Club head speed 101, ball speed 146, smash 144. Couldn't have hit that any better, so we've done that in one take. That was a bit of a surprise, this thing, first thing in the morning. Okay, let's try mini. Okay, obviously smaller head. I guess it's similar principles. I'm still going to tee the ball up, maybe half a ball above the top of the crown. Oh, you feel the difference straight away in the length. It feels a bit heavier as well. Okay, let's see what we got. That's gone like a bullet. Like that at all, did notice a small head, that's gone 258 with a 90 head club head speed. 258 with a 98 club head speed. That's not bad for the first one out of the traps. 145 smash, tempo 3.3. I have been driving the PXG driver really well lately. Um, that's the one I got fitted for a few episodes ago by Lawrence at PXG with that new KBS shaft. I've been hitting it miles, so really interested to see if this can keep up with it. Noticing the smaller head straight away and the shorter shaft is the hand feels like it's at the back end of the grip. Wow. Great flight on that as well. 259. I might have to do some more drivers in a minute. I guess maybe the shorter shaft is helping me to hit it more out the middle. Still not used to that steel face. Let's hit a few more. Oh, I've gone left on there. That's not a pretty one. Oh, couldn't hurt that any better. Wow. Huh. 269. 101 club head speed. The mini driver's gone too well. I'm going to give the driver another chance. Can't believe the numbers with those. That's amazing. Wouldn't expect it to go as far as the driver. Oh, that is a beauty. Maybe early morning golf's the way to go. That's gone 265. Wow. One more with the big dog. Hitting them well today. 248. Looking at that off the tee, there is no discernible drop off with the mini driver. In fact, the one I caught out of the middle has gone the furthest so far. So let's head down the fairway, see what it's like off the deck. Well, I have to say that's really surprised me. The tailor-made mini driver has gone pretty much as far as my own driver, my PXG Gen 4. Um, there was no real drop off in distance or accuracy. It is very early in the morning, I've not had my breakfast yet, so I did probably swing a couple of those a bit too quick. But hit plenty of fairways there, it's a tough hole this six, longest hole at Fulford. Beautiful condition, big thanks to Carl and his team for presenting this beautiful course for us. But that's really surprised me how far that tailor-made's gone. Tailor-made say there's two things you get with this club, you get distance off the tee and control off the deck. So let's go and try maybe 250 out down this par five, See if we can get any on the green. Look at that, one in the bunker. One, two, three, four on the fairway, all a great distance. Wow. Not bad. Very happy with those for first swings in the morning. I'm playing later on today. You can guess exactly what's going to happen, can't you? Four left. Tell me it's 2.57 to the middle of the green. I've just lasered the flag. And it's exactly 250 from these balls. So I'm going to try my own three wood first, then we're going to try the mini driver off the deck. This three wood should go 245 on a good day. And we're going 247. That one either. 
down there though, that's quite a creep on the edge of the green. <laughs> that's gone 225, carry 250. Oh. And in the fairway bunker, that said it would have gone 260 though. I think there's plenty of firepower in this club, I just can't seem to get it off the deck. Maybe try it a little bit further forward in the stance. Oh, I've crunched that, that's nice. Drifting off to a bit to the right. Down there though, 252, 227 carry. No, it's not working for me. That's gone right. 260 off the deck. <laughs> Pretty good numbers. Not enjoying the feel of this, whether it's because you just get the, the stiff or the regular shaft. Didn't really feel that so much off the tee. Come on, let's get one on the dance floor. Oh, that was terrible. I got away with it though. Okay. Three to go. Come on, Paul. Oh, no. I think the size of this head is getting away from me now. I'm finding this quite heavy at the top of the swing. Struggling to get the ball up in the air. Oh my word. Big left to right. 257, 231, club head 103. That's insane. Okay, last one. Nope. I'm not sure about this thing off the deck. Let's go pick them up. Okay, so that was a bit of a mixed bag. Off the tee, super impressed. Off the deck, not so much. Um, I'm an eight handicapper, so not the best golfer in the world, not the worst golfer in the world. Um, enjoyed it off the tee, off the deck. I struggled with the club head size, the balance of it. That was the stiffer shaft, which is perfect for my swing speed. Couldn't really get those up in the air, hit some big left to right shots, which is my natural shot shape, and I think that helps me get fairways up in the air. Um, not brilliant there, I've got to say. Really struggled with that. I wouldn't want to play that off the deck uh, in a competition. However, off the tee, thought it was really good. But it's £349, you can get drivers for that kind of money. So if you are struggling with your driver and you want to try something with a smaller shaft, maybe give it a go. But for me, I'm afraid I'm not going to be buying one. Hope you enjoyed that show, guys. If you have, please hit that like button. And if you're new to this channel, please hit that subscribe button. Subscription is free. All it'll do is tell you when our next video is coming All out. All that's left for me to do now is go and pick these balls up and then go get some breakfast. Take care. See you next time on The Golf Show. Thank you for watching The Golf Show. I hope you enjoyed the episode. To watch another episode, click here. To subscribe, click here.